was sitting at lunch with my can of soup. Had my headphones on, I was listening to soup. Big test experience, what could I do? Surface area of a cylinder, I had no clue. When all of a sudden it occurred to me, my can of soup was a nice opportunity. What I got here is a soup situation, a soup situation, a soup situation. I peeled off the label, and what did I see? But a rectangle sitting in front of me. The ends of the can were circular, they each had the same diameter. My math teacher gave me the math complication, the soup can gave me the perfect situation. What I got here is a soup situation, a soup situation, a soup situation. I picked the rectangle up and laid it on the table. C times H is the area of the label. You might not know it, you might not think I'm right. The rectangle's area is the compass times height. You might not know it, you might not think I'm right. The rectangle's area is the compass times height. What I got here is a soup situation, a soup situation, a soup situation. I laid down the circles to see what I got. Two pi r squares the area of the bottom and the top. You might not know it. You might not care. The area of two circles is two pi r squared. You might not know it. You might not care. The area of two circles is two pi r squared. Lunch is almost over. That test is real soon. And it looks like someone's gonna graduate this June. A cylinder is made up of three main things. A rectangular label and two circular rings. You might not know it. You might not think I'm right. The rectangle's area is circumference times height. You might not know it. You might not the area of two circles is two pi r squared. What I had here was a soup situation, a soup situation, a soup situation.